Okay, I need to disconnect one lead from the output transformer. And I'll just take care of this one right here. Let's hook up the meter and check DC resistance. See what we have. This being an old speaker, I would assume uh, 2 to 3.2 ohms. And 2.6. So all indications, the voice coil itself is good. Let me flip the receiver over and let's check the fill coil. Some older schematics that I referenced uh, show a similar model with the uh, fill coil DC resistance of about 400 ohms or so. Let's see how close we are to that. You can reference the schematic in the side-by-side -side or picture-in-picture -picture in the positive sides of the original ECAP will be my two points that I can test which will show DC resistance across the fill coil. So we've got one here and this should be the second if I'm seeing things correctly. And it looks like we're good there on the fill coil. 406 ohms DC resistance. Let me go ahead and get this loudspeaker removed. And we'll take a closer look at it. Well, that just broke off. So uh, that makes it easy to get to. Looks like two fasteners here holding the loudspeaker in place. Let me get the uh, right size socket and uh, get this thing out. Looks like a 5 16th is the uh, perfect size. I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see this. This particular um, fill coil arrangement has a uh, humbucking coil as well. You can see one connection off of the output transformer goes directly to the voice coil while the other side of the output transformer goes back down to the humbucking coil. And then if I turn this back around, you'll see the other side of the voice coil attaching to the humbucking coil on this side. So just in series with the um, voice coil, that is the humbucking coil. And of course the uh, output transformer leads as well. There we have the little 5 inch electro dynamic loudspeaker removed. 79-319. One output transformer that may or may not be good. We'll do some checking on it here in just a bit. We'll open this transformer up and see if we can uh, find the brake. But you can see all indications are that the uh, primary is definitely open. And the secondary reads good, less than one ohm. And just double checking the fill coil. And uh, you can see we're just a little north of 400 ohms. So we'll call it good. So we just need a new uh, cone on here and center that. And I think we can make this thing uh, make sound again using the replacement output transformer that someone placed in. If the turns ratio is correct or seeing if we can make a repair on the original output transformer. And just trying to be as careful as possible. See if I can save the old cardboard gasket. And there we have it. Not all of it, but the uh, majority of it. I'll go ahead and try to remove the uh, remaining cardboard on the speaker frame itself using a little lacquer thinner. And I'll try to get the uh, remaining cone removed here from the uh, voice coil as well. I've got most of the uh, cone removed from the voice coil. 
and you can see the uh, solder locations with the uh, flexible leads. Still got some cleanup to do around that area and I'll probably end up cutting those and just re-solder. If you look real close, I'll try to uh, zoom in. The one lead of the uh, voice coil right here is the uh, most outer winding that appears. And it's right in this area that's showing up. Pushing down on the uh, voice coil, I feel some uh, rubbing around the center pole piece. So definitely need to uh, clean that area out and shim it real well. And again, get this area cleaned up here where the uh, gasket itself resides. Then we'll look at uh, placing a, a new cone on here. As you guys can see, I've got the uh, voice coil out. I was able to save the spider part of it. It already uh, degraded, so it kind of fell apart on me. And the uh, voice coil is maybe 50-50 on reusing it. I told you I felt some rub when pushing down on the uh, spider and voice coil. It may be hard to tell on camera, but um, to me, this side here, I've got a bigger gap than right in this area. So it looks like the center pole piece is not, you know, perfectly centered. So I may have to uh, take a look at that as well, see if I can do anything to uh, square that up. There's the existing spider. It was already loose from the uh, speaker basket in this area. You can see where it's broke. Um, I think I can salvage it. Again, the uh, voice coil trying to uh, remove everything is extremely brittle, so it broke right in this area again. The new cone will be placed down in this area, so I can probably just attach it directly to the spider in that area and probably get this thing to work. Or who knows, I may need to actually build a new voice coil or attempt to. I think you can see right in this area where we definitely had some rubbing, you can see the uh, voice coil is uh, disformed right in this area. 